Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo Cars, me, Rangaroo, and today we are doing a run v run and hell in a very small place. So, on the right hand side, in blue, playing as Blue Four, we got Thorn, and on the left hand side, in red, playing as Red Bull, we got Amber T. And as usual, we're going to speed things up so the ropping time's 10, so we can get the actual match started. So it seems like Voron is playing a, doo -doo -doo, a NORAD deck. Yeah, NORAD. Ryle, um, but he is going for the safe option of Eastern Block. And the raid both teams go. It seems like going to be a very heavy assault up top for Voron getting all the way into go. And it's going to be a rather risky maneuver. Because if you can capture this little town here, that's really what you need to do to hold on to go. We've got the fans are dropping in the nape. Perfect coverage there on both roads, allowing his helicopters time and cover to get into the town. And the Amber T seems like some most of stuff down even to the middle to go. As the helicopters do manage to land unscathed, which is quite Great lucky, uh, considering that was a very heavy helicopter rush. And as you can see, the longbow and dart just holding ground. That longbow just getting kill after kill. I mean, that tour is in the back. It's starting to move up. But as you can see, all of our these forces are like, <laughs> between Napalm and a hard place here. They are just getting moved down. There's more shootings in the open. The Highlands is in a great spot. Those Eric's missiles proved to be great faithful. An absolutely fantastic assault, yeah. Full four in that initial play. Ampity not really seeing the mutts in the fog, so trying to deal with this initial assault. But full one just has enough to hold the point with Charlie. Or not sending anything into Bravo. The Highlanders are doing their thing. The ATS is actually a very interesting unit choice. I haven't seen these guys all too much. Oh, rather nice tank. 55 points, 17 AP, great rate of fire and accuracy and speed. It's just you only have three frontal armor. But if that much, you know, actual attack damage, it's a rather well for our choice. And it seems like our voodoo did get something. I didn't exactly see what. D-72 is trying to move up by those Eric's is just killing the armor immediately. And it seems like I need some more reinforcements up and go, even though he's holding quite well. The Highlanders and Rifleman have taken a few time into longbow, low in ammo. He really needs to start bringing up reinforcements to help buff up Go because there's still a lot more shootings than BMP runs to be killed. Those multitutions dealing with the damage that is right from the HGS is moving up to give fire support. The BMP runs returning fire, but they just get killed. We've got another napalm run there and a Skyhawk trying to find something, but he doesn't see it and gets shot down by that tour. And uh, he definitely needs reinforcing shot there now. We've got two platoons rather than infantry moving up to finish off the job. Highlanders only have four missiles left. And the AGSs are also low in ammo. Longbow going back to rearm. The second Skyhawk being brought out. And even though he's a really good assault from Voron, Ampati just has the point advantage. Does have Echo under control. While well, Voron is only starting to now capture Charlie. But still, that is quite a lead to lose. And the problem is that once he holds Gulf, you know, the enemy holds Bravo. And that didn't cost him anything. So it's just going to be a battle over Foxtrot. But still, what's a good offensive? The Voodoo flying around trying to find someone to kill them. MiG-29 trying to intercept. The Voodoo managing to dodge missiles. Flying right over the Avengia. Desperate to kill. Yeah, playing that Voodoo. But it does get intercepted by a Phantom. An F4J Phantom actually. And a Skyhawk. Well, Skyhawk not intercept and just decided to come out for some fun. A pretty good uh, attack plane. Very cheap. I know it's only rockets, as you can see. You can absolutely snipe some armor, such as a tour. The 
Hang on, it's holding the ground. Only with a machine gun ammo left. And so my uh, napalm bombs proved to be quite helpful here. Though that did get shot down. Keeping the rock and more students at bay. God damn it, he really just needs some reinforcements and go. Well, yeah, he's getting some cargoes, which should definitely help the Highlanders. And one of them has already got to elite status. They still got some more students that managed to flank around, and if he could just position them over here, he could just intercept any reinforcements that dare come through, or heck, start killing those AGSs. I mean, an RPG 7, even a standard run, could. If it does, like. How much AP? Uh, two shot. I would want to say an AGS frontally. <clears throat> now it does seem like the longbow has rearmed and repaired, and is being brought out once again. I'm actually amazed I didn't get shot down by the tall. Because the tour does have a rock in 3,150 meters, those cargoes getting snatched up by the mod shoots and yeah. Very good little sneaky play. It's gonna be using them to refuel his mod shoots, it seems. One of them getting sniped by the DAP. The longbow flying over, trying to find the mod shoots, they do manage to find them. Well, kill. Almost kills the infantry. Sniper doing another straight from one. Voodoo coming in to. Try and find those tours. Does man to kill run it seems. So we got the Cub M. I see a lot of Cub M's here. It's all the cheap versions, I believe. He only 45 points. Nothing too spectacular. I mean, really, 40 cent accuracy is. Especially when you have three missiles, isn't exactly good odds. But still, you can buy a lot of them cheap, and that's exactly what Abbotty is going for the longbow. Getting sniped after Snipo's ASU's just not standing a chance. A bit overkill here. And Abbotty just doesn't seem to have any like, long range AA because these helicopters and planes are really killing him. He's got his PLRK, which is definitely an interesting choice, but for an Eastern block deck. Could have kept Tungus Gremio. I'm really starting to think Abbotty is playing some sort of like 1980s deck, to be honest. Because it's only even have more Tutan 90s. It's just standard mod Tutan. And he's got a whole line of Cub M's now. And the good thing about having this many is that the food you can't possibly kill enough to stop it from getting shot down. You do got an AGS flanking around. Raven coming in doing its thing. Getting one kill and evac and the AGS getting shot off. A shot on those cubs. And then everything that dares moves. Jesus. Just. Holy crap. That is killing us. ASU's returning fire. Causing the AGS to fall back. Plane D. Trying to intercept. And he's done a lot good for Voren now. He does have Foxtrot completely under his control. If he can get CVs in Foxtrot and Golf, that yeah, will give him a very needed plus two because he has a lot of points to catch up to. The Highlanders finally getting that cargo support that they needed and refilling their juicy Arixes. Yo, that's not really enough. Phantoms getting the intercept. And it is quite an interesting choice using cargoes because, in all honesty, it's always the best idea to get the most expensive supply truck because they hold the most. So you don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth from supply. As those Highlanders only really got half resupply, not even really. So we did get some Ericsons back, which is definitely very important. The FJBs is getting annihilated. A lot of riflemen here being brought from bear by Vaughan. And there's our not cheese. The check is a vacuum reserve infantry. Pretty much using panzer pallets and a semi automatic SVT call, or an SKS copy, I believe, but he's even too curious. an 
there up and there's MSA say Peter Saison, the only Trove Armour penetration at 500 meters with 25% accuracy. That explains everything. The other helicopters are being brought up by Vaughan to resupply the front end point. And as he's sneaking into the Bravo here, the Maltusian is getting really shot with the machine guns on these landing tunnels. And they just get shot down. Light Reichman set it up to just light his own armor here. So it's not really too heavily armored cut down. He's sitting in the spawn point, just trying to snipe these planes as they come through. And Vaughan is in a really good spot because he doesn't, he doesn't, he just hasn't captured Foxtrot. He also captured Hill and the town. And from this position here, it's obviously one of the best positions. You can deny any reinforcements coming across this open field. And even here from Fox Street, you could really deny reinforcements and to go for, force them to go the long way around. So once you get into your spot, it's you just really have great map control. And this is pretty much a crossroads for Amber T here. And he's doing a big infantry, so a lot of FJBs and whatnot. Those Canadian gunships of all helicopters managed to stop this assault. Some of these also providing cover and fire. And now it's down to the light right from the close point. Make sure you run coming in during the straight from some rockets. But here comes the longbow, and the longbow sees and the longbow kills. And this isn't really looking good for Amber T. Fans on the kill C being Echo, we're a very sneaky player, and that would be a good game. Devore on taking the victory by a whopping 1,400 points. And really, yeah, early on assault proved to be quite well done. It's really due to Vore and Dare Power. Yeah, allowed him to win that match. So it was Phantoms coming in with the Napalm Bombs and the Skyhawks and the constant use of Seed really pressed down by Tia Ray. And he did have a really good chance of retaking up top. He had the manpower to do so. But like I said before, the planes were run, especially the Napalm, stopped and those Highlanders managing to hold that point. And yeah, Ambati just got pushed back here. It seems like he was playing uh, arrow type deck, so I will give him the benefit of the doubt, yeah, because you are, you are putting yourself at quite a big disadvantage from even playing with a 1985 deck. But yeah, I'm going to end off on that, a very good game from both sides, and this has been another Rangaroo cast, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, please just take it easy.